um, you know, your the old way of doing things or the old perceptions of things. I'm seeing that especially in regards to partnership or relationship, um, there's something that may be amiss or out of whack with this because of you know, the old way of looking things, the old rules, the patriarchy, the old structure, the authority of what has been given before. Normally, emperor hands down rules and regulations and boundaries and says, this is the way things go. This is, this is the, um, this is how I decree things to be. And so it may be outdated ways of thinking about relationships or not allowing yourself to recognize a partnership um, because you're seeing it through the filter of the older generation, seeing it through the filter of perhaps your parents, um, or hearing sort of the voices of the elders in reflection of your relationship. This could also just be like parental disapproval of the relationship that you're in, or you're not able to find or engage in a relationship that you want to be in because you're seeing, oh, you know, a certain person might disapprove of that. So that's what's going on at the opening of the month is that your choices regarding partnership or relationship are getting scrutiny from the voices from the past or voices from prior authority but it's not really serving you this is in the reverse position so it's saying it maybe something that you need to let go of or this may even just be happening below your consciousness level so take a look at that at the beginning of the month there's also a way that new money is trying to find its way to you this is ace of coins so this is a new beginning an ace of coins regards um, money it could be a new job offer it could be um, the seeds that you're sowing now where that end up as the garden that you eventually live in. And this is rest and relaxation. So what I'm getting here is that you may, because they're in the reverse position, this is stuff that wants to come to you, but somehow it's being blocked. It's it's just under the surface. You're just not seeing it. It's, it's wanting to come to the surface, but it's like a cork that's being held down below the water. Once you release it, it'll come up. And I think I get the sense that you need to take some R&R. &R. You may not see that you have any option for that. You may feel like, I don't have any time to rest. I don't have any time to reflect or think about things or take a time out. But that's really what you're going to need to do in order to access this new money that wants to come in. The world wants to hand you something. It wants to hand you this new beginning. Like I said, whether it's a new lifestyle, new job. Um, new values. It's sitting there just ready and waiting for you, but you have to take a time out. Four of Swords means rest and relaxation. You can see this um, warrior type of person who's taking a day out from battle just to regain his energy um, recuperation. By doing that, by allowing that, you're going to have more access to this new money, new job, new lifestyle energy. So I encourage you, Capricorn, to reflect, take time out to reflect on things, and you might be surprised at what you receive by doing that. I also see that you may be having a hard time making a decision about something. In the middle of the month, this is Two of Swords, which means dilemma or stasis. It means that things are stagnant. Um, the swords represent ideas. So when there's two swords that someone cannot choose between, Two of Swords represents blindfolding yourself and checking out so that you don't have to make a decision, so that you can just avoid it. But what it does is it keeps you stuck, it keeps you not being able to move forward. So I'm seeing with this card in the reverse position here that you may be avoiding making a decision, you may have some fears or concerns about making a decision, you may be just trying to avoid it altogether. The way out of this card is to take action, just choose one option, you know, um, put down one sword and go forward with one of them. It may, you'll, you can have the opportunity to change your mind again later but at least it breaks you out of this I can't make a decision I'm just going to avoid and procrastinate so be aware of that towards the middle of the month there's any conflict avoidance or procrastination or avoiding making decisions just take action and that's the way to get out of that 
Um, I'm also seeing two of coins in reverse here towards the end of the month. Two of coins means being flexible, having fun with things. It means joint finances. The fact that it's in the reverse position says, you know, you may need to lighten up and have more fun. You may need to try to be less rigid. You may need to kind of laugh at yourself towards the end of the month, Capricorn, because um, you, you may, with these two cards appearing, you may be taking things a little too seriously. Like, just go f take some action here and try to be flexible and adaptive to your situation. This fool energy here is going to be helpful towards that because fool is carefree. He's young. He has trust in the universe. He believes all things are possible. He's heading out for a new, fresh journey. Um, and he also sees that more love is possible to receive. Um, this card, Four of Cups, depicts someone who's like letting moss grow around them. They're kind of been they've been sitting in the same position for so long that like the the plants have grown around them. I sometimes call this card a Rip Van Winkle card, and they're totally focused on the current existence of things. They're completely missing this cup that the world and the universe is trying to hand to them. So when I see this card, I always say, look up. Try to be like fool, where you are fresh and open. There's a lot of a lot of message in the two of these cards together, saying be open, be ready for new opportunities, be ready for things that you haven't experienced before, things that um, may freshen your life, may enliven you, um, and get you instead of being so in your head to being open and ready to take on a new adventure to to consider new things in the world that you may want to do. This is a really fun card. Um, and three of wands in the reverse position says you need to allow yourself to dream. Three of wands is the visionary card. It's the person who is looking out on their um, a flat plane and envisioning what it is that they want to create or what they want to plan in terms of their empire. Three is like a new creation card. A three is spontaneous and creative. And because it's the visionary card, it, it really emphasizes dreaming about what you want and trying to create what you want. In the reverse position, it's saying you may not be allowing yourself to dream. You may not be able to um, see beyond what is these two cards together. This is three of cups. This is three of wands is saying you may be focusing too much on what currently exists and not allowing yourself to see beyond what could you know into what could be same thing here is that you need to look up and out of yourself in order to see this additional thing that that life and the world wants to give to you and you have to envision and dream um, that it's possible so I'm gonna say Capricorn especially for the middle of the month try to allow yourself to dream beyond what currently exists try to allow for more to come in for your dreams to actually have some sort of plans or tethering or you know laying the foundation for those because it's it's only going to renew you fool knows how to laugh about things he knows how to just go off on an, an adventure accept the things that life has to give him and he's he's kind of like governing over this he's saying you know be like me come let's come play like come come take this adventure with me don't just sit in your own mind observing what has always happened feel receive something new um, again, this two of coins just means lightening up, being more flexible, being more adaptable to life, being able to juggle things and doing so in a lighthearted way. And this moon card means to allow things that are in your subconscious to come up. In this card, this lobster or this crab is coming up from these deep emotional waters. And it's allowing these feelings, this emotional depth to come up but doing so in a balanced way. In other words, somewhere between being wild, um, which is represented by this this wolf or this fox, and the dog here, which represents the more domesticated side of us. So, you know, the dog is, is more submissive, it's more tame, the wolf is more wild, it's more aggressive. And this crab is coming up and trying to just let those deeply submersed feelings from the subconscious to come up in the gentle light of the moon in a balanced way. So if you are 
If you are able to access this sense of fun and adventure and dreaming, allowing more to come to you towards the end of March, you may get an opportunity to have things come up that have been repressed or have been waiting to come up. Um, and it may be a very healing time for you, Capricorn. So, you know, that could even just be an internal process. Because that's not happening during daylight time, this could happen in your dream state or in your bedroom or just in your internal psyche. Um, but allow those things to come up and see if you can not have judgment against them, but allow them to just be balanced. Um, I'm seeing that magician energy is available to you, but you may not be believing in it. Um, this is kind of, for me, echoing this card, the Three of Wands in reverse. Both of these are powerful characters. Um, Three of Wands is the visionary and Magician actually puts his power into action. He creates what he wants with from all the resources that are available to him on this table. Um, and the, the key with Magician, with the key with, with the Visionary card is, is believing and seeing in your mind's eye what you want to create. With Magician, it's actually creating it and believing in your own power to access and take all these dreams and visions and bring them down to earth and seeing results. So magician is all about focus, being single-minded, knowing your own mind, knowing what it is you want, believing in your own power, having that your consciousness completely absorbed with one thing that, it, that you're trying to create. Um, and therefore being able to manifest those results. If you don't believe in your own power, however, you are not going to be able to see the results that you that you are capable of creating. So when Magician shows up in reverse, I'm going to say, what is it? How are you doubting yourself? Or how are you not connecting with your own innate creative power? How are you not accessing your own magic, your own... Um, your own ability to create results that you want because you have that your magician is there you're just not allowing him to come to the surface and then there may be a way in which you are not seeing eye to eye with a fire sign at the end of the month this is this could be aries leo or sagittarius um, alternately, this could be someone in, in an authority position, or both. It could be, you know, a fire sign in an authority position. He's the king of wands, is why I say authority position. So this could be, um, you know, this could be a boss, parent, uh, a landlord, someone who who usually gets their way when they, they say something or when they command something. Um, He's not necessarily supporting you right now, or you're not seeing eye to eye, and, and this person may have something to do with you doubting your own power or your own capabilities. Keep in mind, in, in this spread for March for you, both of these authority figures, the Emperor and the King of Wands, are both in the reverse position. They're not supporting you. They're not helping you. So see if you can have em, embody your own authority your own power, don't listen to what um, these figures are saying. I'm getting the sense that they're kind of outdated or they're not they're not kind of up to your level. They're not seeing things in the they're not seeing things from your unique perspective. So Capricorn, if you have any struggles with um, other people's judgments or wanting to put their rules or control on you, see if, if you can believe in your own power and access that so that you can create the results that you want. You have to allow yourself to dream. You have to take action on making decisions. And you may have to lighten up or, and, and adopt a playful um, attitude, as well as towards the beginning of the month, taking a rest and allowing something new to come in. Both this card and this card here show something new coming in, and Magician is creating something new. So see how it is that you can allow that to come through.